Hi everybody! Today I'm going to show you how to create a very simple and easy gochujang that you can make at home and it doesn't take very long at all and it is also gluten free so if you are gluten intolerant like I am please give this a try and let me know what you think. So let's go over the ingredients. You'll need 1 and 8 cups of water, half a cup of packed brown sugar, one cup of Korean chili powder. Make sure that it's a Korean chili powder and not cayenne pepper or anything like that. That would be way too hot. Um, you can find this at most Asian markets or on Amazon.com. One cup of miso paste, one tablespoon of salt, one teaspoon of rice vinegar mixed with one teaspoon of red wine vinegar. I only use red wine vinegar because it's what I had in my pantry, but if you have rice wine vinegar, that's even better. So to start off, I'm going to pour the 1 8 cup of water into a medium to small size pot, and then I'm going to add the brown sugar to the pot and then dissolve. put this on medium high heat and then I'm going to set a lid on top of it so that it heats up a lot sooner. I'm going to continue stirring and make sure all the sugar crystals have dissolved and once it's all dissolved I'm going to put in the miso paste into the sugar water mixture and then give it a stir. So once the sugar water mixture has heated up, I'm going to add my miso paste to the pot. I'm turning the heat down to a medium low heat so it doesn't get too hot and boiling and I'm going to keep whisking until all the lumps are gone. So once it's all smooth, I'm just going to add the Korean chili powder in there. I don't know where that footage went, but I poured the whole um, cup into the miso mixture. And so I'm just stirring it around and just showing you the texture. It looks great, doesn't it? And so once you see it bubbling a little bit, boiling a little bit, you see that kind of swelled up, it's ready for the vinegar mixture and also some salt. I only put half of that and then I'm going to taste it later to see how salty it is because the miso is already salty. I'm just turning off the heat so it doesn't burn the bottom. Then I'm just going to incorporate everything a little bit more and also because I like playing with it because the texture is just too fun. You can either scoop it into uh, stoneware and then set it outside in the sun to ferment for a while. Um, or you could do what I did. I just put it in a large mason jar and I'm just going to keep it in the fridge for, you know, whenever I feel like something needs a dollop of that spicy, sweet, salty stuff. Um, so that is what I did. Thank you everyone for watching. And if you like this video, Please like and comment if you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see me make next and subscribe to see the newest videos.